Five signs. You have a potassium deficiency. A potassium deficiency can occur when the body loses more potassium than it takes in, or when it's unable to absorb enough of this mineral from the digestive tract. As a result, potassium levels become too low, which can lead to muscle weakness, fatigue, and other health problems. Potassium is a mineral that plays a role in the electrical activity of your heart, helping it to contract and relax. It also helps regulate the amount of fluid in your body, so it's important to get enough potassium in your diet. Having potassium deficiency is most commonly caused by kidney disease or type diabetes, which are both associated with high blood pressure. However, an insufficient intake of this nutrient can also cause a deficiency if you don't eat enough fruits and vegetables. In severe cases, it can cause cardiac arrest, but this is rare. In this video, we are going to be talking about signs of potassium deficiency. Before we proceed, please note that everything mentioned in this video is unbiased, fact-checked, and reviewed by qualified health professionals. With that said, let's jump in and talk about the signs of potassium deficiency. Before we share the secret, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss secret health tips. Number one, muscle weakness and cramps. Potassium is found in many foods such as beans, potatoes, and bananas, but it's difficult to consume enough potassium unless you eat these foods every day. The recommended daily allowance for potassium is milligrams for adults. If you're not getting enough of the nutrient from your diet, it may cause you to become deficient in this essential mineral. The most common symptom of low potassium is muscle weakness. If your muscles are weak and crampy, it may be because your body doesn't have enough potassium to keep them functioning properly. Muscle weakness may also be due to an inadequate intake of magnesium, which is another mineral important for muscle growth, but this isn't as common as low potassium levels. Some people are at greater risk for developing a potassium deficiency than others. These include people who take diuretics or laxatives, those with high levels of aldosterone, people who eat excessive amounts of salt, and women with heavy menstrual periods due to pregnancy or birth control pills. Number two, weakness and fatigue. Potassium deficiency may occur as a result of excess loss of body fluids, such as during prolonged diarrhea, vomiting, or sweating. When the body is unable to replace potassium lost, symptoms of potassium deficiency will develop. The symptoms of potassium deficiency include excessive fatigue. People with this mineral deficiency tend to feel lightheaded after standing up quickly or weak during physical activity, such as climbing up the stairs. Fatigue can be caused by many different things. If you're feeling tired and lethargic all the time, it's important to visit your doctor or healthcare professional to determine the cause of why you're feeling this way. Number three, digestive problems. Potassium deficiency can cause digestive problems such as gastritis or inflammation of the stomach lining. This may be accompanied by nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. The lack of this nutrient affects the muscles of your intestines and colon, including the muscles that push food through your digestive tract. Potassium helps regulate the movement of food through your digestive tract by stimulating the release of digestive juices from your stomach and pancreas, as well as bile from your gallbladder. If you don't get enough potassium from your diet, these organs may not produce enough digestive enzymes to break down food properly, and some parts of food may move too slowly through the digestive tract or leave too quickly without being digested properly. Number four, constipation. Constipation is a common complaint. In fact, it's one of the most common reasons people go to their doctor. Constipation can have many causes. It may be the result of poor diet, lack of exercise, or dehydration. The kidneys need at least a two to one ratio of potassium to sodium to work properly. Most Americans get too much sodium and too little potassium from their diets. This can lead to dehydration and constipation. One cause of constipation is low levels of potassium in your blood. Your body uses the mineral to help regulate muscle contractions in your gastrointestinal tract. When there's not enough potassium in your blood, 
it can impact how well you digest food and how well your intestines absorb water. Number five, abnormal heartbeat. Abnormal heart rhythms are caused by a disruption in the normal electrical activity of the heart, which results in a change in the heartbeat rate. In a recent study, researchers found that potassium deficiency can cause abnormal heartbeat. The study was conducted to evaluate the relationship between serum potassium levels and heart rate in healthy individuals. The study included male participants who were divided into three groups according to their serum potassium levels. The study results revealed that high serum potassium levels were associated with decreased heart rate, while low serum potassium levels were associated with increased heart rate. If you're experiencing an irregular heartbeat, you mustn't try self-diagnosing or treating yourself for any possible underlying conditions, especially if it involves taking medications without first consulting your doctor. Subscribe for more health tips.